you. So um, this past year has kind of made English switch from a discipline that was typically taught in classrooms. I know that we usually think of like English professors and you go in the class and you have a lecture and there's always like communication. Zoom sometimes makes it difficult for communication, although it's very, very nice to have it. Um, sometimes the professors ask questions and the students do not respond or engage in the text, which that's okay. Um, it's just something that happens. I think with grad school, it's a little different. We usually communicate with one another. Um, so this year I am going to be working as a graduate assistant teaching freshman comp one and two. And I've worked with younger kids for a decade. So I've learned that a way to interact with them is kind of have fun with the lessons. And I think that can also apply to college. I think if a student comes in and they're not bored, then they're more likely to be engaged with material. So English is definitely having to change because of the online platform. And rhetoric is one of those things that we teach in freshman comp at UTC. Um, it's one of the really big deals with our papers. They usually focus on like the Aristotelian appeals. So for this, I was going to make it a little more interactive and we have like a couple things to do. Have any of y'all downloaded like Kahoot or played Kahoot on the computer? Okay. So I was hoping we could go ahead and start with that. Let's see if I can send it in a chat and then I'll share my screen as well if I'm able to see here. Okay, Let's see if I can share my screen. You'll hear the noise of it in the background. So if you have the app on your phone, which some people might, some people might not, it's totally fine. You can go on your desktop app and then type in um, kahoot.it and then put in the pen. If anyone needs any like help, just let me know. The app is a little easier, but the desktop works just as well. So you would just go to um, the website up here and then you just type in this pen. Is there any more that um, would like to join that have not joined yet? We can wait, it's fine. Do we need to wait on anyone else? Are we good to start? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start it. I'm confused. What are we looking at? Okay. Are you able to see the video? Okay. So these are your videos? No, sir. These are from YouTube. So part of my presentation is focusing on how we can use YouTube videos in education in order to help students learn. I see. Okay. 
Yes, sir. So these are all from YouTube. So the app is able to get the YouTube videos and then post parts of them, which are so the class can be interactive with the videos. And this is the last one. I didn't put this one in the title, although I should have. So whenever the students um, submit their quiz, which we would probably be doing as a group together, Kahoot does this little thing where it has like the winner. And if we were in a classroom situation, um, I would probably have like little prizes or if we were in an online format, um, we might do like a little extra credit assignment or something like that. So it's just kind of a fun little way to engage the students while they also learn from um, YouTube videos, which is one of the things that I talked about in my proposal, because I feel like um, YouTube videos are a great resource that many teachers do not use in the classroom quite yet. Um, but they are especially helpful if you are posting things online or working with students online so that they can go and find them themselves. So Kahoot is just kind of a fun way to get everyone involved. It also kind of translates from where I'm at. It's students use it in like elementary, middle, and high. So when they enter the freshman comp classroom, they're not completely jolted into a college format from what they were used to in high school. So complete going on with this assignment, I'm going to try to see if this works in the chat. Let's see. So this is a Google document. If everyone would like to um, try to click on the form, if the sharing settings are not there, um, we can just go through like the shared screen. It should be available um, 
But this is what we would do in a classroom after we did the Kahoot assignment and after probably a lesson that I would teach from their book on ethos, pathos, logos. Is everyone able to see the document? Okay, so that one is rhetorical appeals and commercials. If you guys just want to go ahead and like go through it and watch the different commercials and then see what you think on the form. The reason I chose this particular um, format for teaching ethos, pathos, logos, and kairos is because I feel that students are inundated with different forms of media telling them different things and commercials are a great way to pick out the Redder's appeals for different things. I believe I picked all Super Bowl commercials since those typically tend to be more um, watched probably more than other commercials in different formats on TV. So if you guys wanna go ahead and look through that and maybe fill it out and just let me know if you have any questions. And you will notice that also in this form that if I were in a classroom or teaching this online, they would be sent to students to be sent back to me, that these are also from YouTube for YouTube videos. I believe that YouTube videos can be used very well in this type of format, especially with online classes, since some it might be difficult to record yourself doing a lecture and they also use like the cartoons and they do kind of like the fun animations so that it might be a little bit more involved. We saw that with the Kahoot quiz and with this it's the commercials that hopefully the students will be able to pull out what we just learned from the ethos pathos logos. So I think that the commercials and things like that would actually be more difficult to demonstrate in a classroom setting. Like of course you can put it on you know, like the board and the students can look and then you can discuss it, which is, which is a good option. But I feel like with the Google form, it would just be an assignment that they would grade, that I would grade, and then you could just look at it. So that is essentially my presentation about how ethos, pathos, logos can be taught. And I created like a whole entire syllabus that focuses on how it can be taught in online environment. But for this, of course, we could just kind of go through one lesson. So thank you all so, so much for participating in the Kahoot. I hope it was a little bit entertaining and a little bit different. And, and thank you for looking at the Google form for the rhetorical appeals as well. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys allowing me to be here.